exploring can be a dangerous thing, especially in the past when we didn't have the technologies we have today. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 scary explorers from history who vanished without a trace. Coming in at number 10 is Henry Hudson. One of the most famous explorers of all time, Hudson's surname is still heard in the huge bay in eastern Canada and in the Hudson River in New York. He was a brave traveler as he toured Greenland and the Silvard Archipelago of the glacial Arctic Ocean. His final great expedition was to North America mainland. In 1610, Henry set his sail on his ship, Discovery, never knowing he was not to return. Nearly two months later, after several quarrels among the crew, a riot resulted in Henry, his son John, and eight loyal crew members being abandoned to a small boat near the Diggs Island. Now, for some time, the Discovery continued sailing, but it too soon withdrew its sails and the unfortunate crew was abandoned to fate. Now this was the last time Henry Hudson was seen alive in a small boat in a bay that bears his name even today. Now did they meet other people on the island? Did they starve to death? No one quite knows and I don't think we ever will. Number 9. Giovanni Cabotto It's said that Giovanni Cabotto, an Italian navigator born in 1450, was the first European to reach the coast of North America after the Vikings. On his first voyage, the Italian left Bristol, England and sailed to the Atlantic in search of the Lost Island, on which he would supposedly find dyes of great value, but the search failed. On his second voyage, he arrived at Cape Bonavista in Newfoundland and returned to England proclaiming the territory as part of the British Empire. Now, This entitled him to great fame and great fortune. In 1478, he sailed from the British Isles with five ships under his command en route to northern Canada. Now, The Spanish envoy in London reported in July that one of the ships had been caught in a storm and been forced to return to land in Ireland, but that Giovanni and the four other ships had continued on. For centuries, no other records were found to relate to this expedition as it was long believed that Giovanni and his fleet were lost at sea. It's not known whether he died during the voyage, returned safely and died shortly after, or arrived in the Americas and chose to remain there, perhaps remaining with the indigenous people. What happened is forever a mystery. Number 8. Rold and Mudson One of Norway's most beloved 20th century explorers, Rold Amundsen, was born there and trained as a sailor. He explored the frozen lands of the north as his first trip to unquestionably reach the North Pole, and he led expeditions to Antarctica again for the first time reaching the South Pole. Now, A lover of these frozen lands, he disappeared on June 18, 1928, a hero while flying over the Arctic in an attempt to rescue three passengers from another plane crash. It's assumed that Rold and his crew died in a plane wreck or died shortly afterward. The search for his team was called off in September 1928 by the Norwegian government and the bodies were never found. Number 7. Gaspar Court Real. A Portuguese explorer who undertook an expedition to Greenland in 1500, Gaspar Court Real soon after embarked in the direction of Newfoundland or Labrador Bay. At some point, he sent back three of his four ships, including one led by his brother, Miguel, and then disappeared into the sea forever. Then in 1502, Miguel made another trip to the area where his brother had disappeared, but also suffered the same fate. His ship, too, was lost to the cold northern sea. One theory based on Latin inscriptions found in Massachusetts asserts that Miguel may have come ashore and lived at least nine more years in North America, but it's unknown what caused them to disappear and what actually happened. Number 6. Naomi Irma Naomi Irma was part of the first Japanese team to climb Mount Everest in 1970. They would have been the first Japanese team to reach the summit had it not been for him allowing one of his companions, an older man, to go ahead. An alpinist, Naomi had already conquered the highest peaks on five continents and was the first person to reach the North Pole alone while creating a legend of modern exploration. In 1984, he set out on an expedition to climb Mount McKinley in Alaska in an attempt to become the first man to climb that peak alone and during the winter. He's known for having to reach the summit, but he never returned. Some objects that belonged to Naomi, including a diary, were found in a snow cave, but his body was never recovered, and the exact circumstances of his death have never been revealed. Number 5. Percy 
Percy Fawcett. An English military officer, archaeologist, and explorer, Percy Fawcett was one of the first to map the enormous Amazon rainforest. The expedition of his life though happened in the 1920s when he sought the mythical lost city of El Dorado, which he'd nicknamed the Lost City of Z. In 1925, Percy, his son, and a friend entered the Brazilian region of Mato Grosso. A few days later, they sent their native guides back with their latest letters, including one from Percy to his wife Nina, in which he said, You need have no fear of any failure. But after this, they were never seen again. The disappearance generated legends of the fate of Percy and his companions, and many said that they joined a tribe in the region, while others claimed that they died and that they'd even found some mystical commune. The most credible explanation was by a journalist, David Grant, who in 2005 unveiled a legend still circulating among the Kalapala tribe, which recounted that Percy had arrived in the land but had ignored warnings of a hostile tribe in the area. Number four, Ludwig Leichhardt. A famous German scientist and explorer, Ludwig Leichhardt led several expeditions into the interior of Australia. On one occasion, he had been declared dead, only to return 18 months later, safe and sound, with a wealth of information about his discoveries. Now, his final and most ambitious expedition in 1848 included seven men, 50 head of cattle, 20 mules, seven horses, and sufficient supplies. He intended to cross the Australian desert from east to west, but the expedition never reached its destination. The only trace that was found of the trip was a small plaque bearing Ludwig's name, which had allegedly been attached to his rifle. Later, trees marked with an L, a custom by which the explorer marked his roots, were found, but nothing more. Ludwig's true destiny, like that of his men, will surely remain buried in the sands of the great Australian desert. Number three, Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was an American hero and one of the most famous people on the planet. In 1932, according to the National Women's History Museum, Amelia became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean unaccompanied, and she was awarded the Cross of the French Legion of Honor and the American Distinguished Flying Cross, among other achievements. Now, in 1937, she set out on a journey that would prove ambitious and mysterious. She aimed to be the first woman to fly all the way around the globe. Now, alongside her navigator Fred Noonan, she departed Miami on June 1st, and by July 2nd, they made it to New Guinea with plans to hit Howland Island, a small uninhabited landmass between Hawaii and Australia. Now, sometime en route, Amelia, dealing with poor weather and low fuel, lost contact with the Coast Guard liaison. Her plane never landed, and it was never discovered. Nor were Amelia or Fred, despite a joint Coast Guard and Navy search effort that encompassed 250,000 square miles. Number two, Jean Francois de Gallup Le Perouse. In 1785, Francis's King Louis XVI dispatched the explorer Jean Francois de Gallup Le Perouse on a grand around the world map making expedition. He spent the next few years surveying the coastlines of California, Alaska, Russia, Japan, Korea, and the Philippines. He reached Australia in 1788, but after leaving Bonnet Bay, his fleet disappeared. A rescue expedition arrived in 1791, but it found no trace of Jean Francois, his two ships, or his 225 crew members. It was nearly 40 years before any evidence of the explorer's fate emerged. In 1826, an Irish sea captain named Peter Dillon learned from natives that a pair of ships had once sunk near the island of Vanicoro. After sailing to the site, Peter recovered anchors and other wreckage later confirmed to belong to Jean Francois's two ships. Now, in a bizarre twist, the locals also claimed that some of the men, including the group's chief, had survived on the island for some time before building a ramshackle boat and heading out to sea. Now, if this mysterious chief was indeed Jean-Francois, it would mean the doomed navigator survived for several years longer than was originally believed, but it seems like we'll never know. Coming in at number one is Igor Dyatlov. The Dyatlov Pass incident was an event in which nine Soviet hikers died in the northern Ural Mountains between February 1st and 2nd, 1959, under uncertain circumstances. Now, a creepy photo shows the determined group traversing the harsh terrain just before they met their fate on the night of February 1st. Now, what happened? Well, the experienced trekking group from the Ural Polytechnical Institute, led by Igor Dyatlov, had established a camp in the Russian SFSR of the Soviet Union. Overnight, something caused them to cut their way out of their tent and flee the campsite while inadequately dressed for the heavy snowfall and sub-zero temperatures. Now, after the group's bodies were discovered, an investigation by Soviet authorities determined that six of them had died from hypothermia, while the other three had died by physical trauma. One victim had major skull damage, two had severe chest trauma, and another
another had a small crack in his skull. Four of the bodies were found laying in running water in a creek, and three of those four had damaged soft tissue of the head and face, and two of the bodies had missing eyes, one had a missing tongue, and one had missing eyebrows. Now, no one's really too sure what happened to them and why it happened either, but it's just extremely strange. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 scary explorers from history who vanished without a trace. Which disappearance do you think is the creepiest? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.